we learn to add and subtract money. Golu's birthday is coming and all the friends together want to buy a gift for him. Sher Khan, Appu and Raju together will buy a gift and Meenu, Bablu and Chanda will buy another gift. Let us see which gift Sher Khan, Appu and Raju together want to buy. All three friends have come to Gaggu's toy store. They have to buy a hat and a pencil. The cap is rupees 80 and the pencil is 12 rupees 50 paise. Children, can you tell how much money will they have to pay to buy the gift? What operations do we have to use to do this? Absolutely right. Addition. First, we will add the numbers of paise. Is there an amount of paise in the cap price? No. Is there any paise in the price of a pencil? Yes. 50 paise. How much paise will there be if you add 50 paise to 0 paise? Exactly. 50 paise. Now we will add the rupee numbers. The cap here costs 80 rupees. And how much is the price of a pencil? 12. 80 added to 12 is 92 rupees. In this way, the total value of both the items became 92 rupees and 50 paise. How do we write this using dots as rupees? Alright. To the left of the point, we will write the number of rupees. And to the right, we place paise. The three together paid the price of hat and pencil and bought the gift. Now let us see what gifts are the other three buying together. All three of them have come to Babble Uncle's shop. They are buying a new shirt as a gift for Golu. The price of the shirt is 125 rupees 50 paise. He gave 150 rupees to Babel Uncle. Can you tell me how much money Uncle will have to return to them? Children, what operation do we have to use to find this out? Yes, subtraction. We can write it as subtraction in this way. Children, while subtracting, we first subtract the number of paise. Is there any paise for 150 rupees? No. Then, how will we subtract 50 paise of 125 rupees 50 paise from 0 paise of 150 rupees? Do you remember the borrowing process learned in the lesson of subtraction? Here, we will use the borrowing process. How much is 1 rupee worth? 100. We will borrow 1 rupee out of 150. We will show it in this way by cutting 150 to 149. Now, if we subtract 50 paise of 125 rupees 50 paise from the borrowed 100 paise of 150, then how many paise are left? That's right, 50 paise. Now, we will subtract the number of rupees 149 minus 125 24 rupees in this way uncle will have to return them 24 rupees 50 paise the uncle returned him 24 rupees 50 paise the three friends returned home excited with the shirt 
The next day, when Golu saw his gifts on his birthday, he started dancing happily. All friends celebrated Golu's birthday in a grand manner. In this video, we learn to add and subtract money. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Oh kids, in the previous video, we learned to add and subtract money. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Raju and Bablu together have collected rupees 100. Both of them have decided to eat delicious things today with that money. Both of them have come to Babban's ice cream stall first. Babban handed him the menu card of his stall. The menu cards have various ice cream names and their prices written in this way. Raju and Bablu first ate one choco bar ice cream and one vanilla ice cream. Then both of them got together and shared one orange candy. Now both of them are thinking how much they have to pay for the ice cream to Bappan. Kids, can you help them? Come, let's solve it together. To know the total amount, we have to add the prices of all three ice creams. We will first write the price of all three ice creams in rupees and paise in this way. Now, we will add the amount of paise first. Can you tell the total amount of paise? Right! 50 paise. Then, we will add all the rupees. What is the total amount? Yes! 15 rupees. In this way, Raju and Bablu will have to pay 15 rupees 50 paise to Babban. He paid Babban for the ice cream and later reached Appu's sweet shop. They ate a stomach full of samosa and jalebi and barfi. If they gave Appu a total of 50 rupees 50 paise for all the things, so can you tell how many rupees are left with both of them now? First, we will find out the total amount spent by both of them. Children, can you add these two amounts and tell how much money Raju and Bablu have spent together? First, we will add the numbers written in paise. By adding 50 and 50, we get 100. Can we write 100 paise here? No. So, what should we do now? Kids, do you remember? How much is 100 paise worth? Right! 1 rupee. Therefore, we will write 100 paise as carryover in this number of rupees. And now, how much paise are left with us? Zero paise. Children, now can you add the total number of rupees? Well done, children. This is absolutely correct. 66 rupees in total. We have used addition to find these answers. In this way, Raju and Bablu spent a total of 66 rupees. Raju and Bablu had 100 rupees in the beginning. So can you tell how many rupees they have left now? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Wow kids, you have found the right answer. Raju and Bablu now have 34 rupees left. Children, 
We have used subtraction to find these answers. Both of them were full and they went for a walk. In this video, we learn to add and subtract money with some interesting examples. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned to add and subtract money with some interesting examples. In this video, we will look at some common mistakes related to it. Raju and Bablu have come to Gaggu's shop to buy notebooks, pencils and some other items. Raju asked Gaggu for one notebook, one rubber and one pencil. Gaggu added the value of all three items in this way. Children, tell me if Gaggu's addition is correct. No, Gaggu has done the addition wrong. Kids, can you tell what mistake has Gaggu made? Let's find this out by putting this addition together. What shall we do first? We'll add the numbers of paise. How much money do we get by adding 50 and 50 paise? 100 paise. How do we write this? Yes, we will write 100 paise as carryover in this way. See kids, Gaggu added 100 paise correctly. But he forgot to write the carryover made from it. Now can you tell by adding rupees how much Raju actually has to pay for the goods to Gaggu? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids, you have found the right answer. Raju owes Gaggu 23 rupees for those items. Just like you, Raju too caught Gaggu's mistake and gave him 23 rupees. Now Bablu asked for one pencil box from Gaggu and gave a 50 rupee note to Gaggu. In this way, Gaggu deducted 22 rupees 50 paise of the pencil box from rupees 50 and returned 28 rupees 50 paise. Children, has Gaggu returned the right amount to Bablu? Let's see. First, we will subtract the numbers written in paise. Oh no! Can we deduct 50 paise out of 0 paise? No. So, what shall we do now? Alright. Now, we will use the borrowing process. We will borrow 1 rupee out of 50 rupees. And, in this way, we will write it as 100 paise. And since we have borrowed 1 rupee, what do we have to do? Yes, we have to cut 50 rupees and write 49 rupees. Now, out of 100 paise, how much money is left after deducting 50 paise? 50 paise. Children, if we look at the subtraction done by Gaggu, we will find that Gaggu also used the borrowing process like us. But he forgot to cut 50 rupees and write 49 rupees. Therefore, the amount returned by Gaggu to Bablu was wrong. Children, can you find the right amount by subtracting the numbers written in rupees? Well done children!
You have written the correct answer. Gaggu was to return twenty-seven rupees fifty paise to Bablu. Bablu too quickly did the math like us and found out that Gaggu gave him one rupee more. He promptly returned one rupee to Gaggu. Gaggu was happy to see the honesty of those children and gave them one one pencil for free. In this video, we saw some common mistakes related to adding and subtracting money.